Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. I think over the last 12, 13 years, we've done over a thousand videos. And the focus on those videos was to educate, to show you what, what is correct in small room acoustics and what's not correct. And also to point out, you know, all the fallacies that are in the marketplace regarding treatment. We'll get to that in, a, in another video, but for purposes of this video, I want to take all that knowledge, all that thousand videos plus or whatever it was, and I think 10 million views, 9 million views, something like that, and condense it down into two main categories. And this is the paradigm that we're going to use as we go forward with this year's video series. The paradigm is going to be divided into two parts, pressure and reflection. The pressure part is everything below 100 hertz, okay? So everything below 100 hertz we're going to consider from now on as pressure. It just simply doesn't fit in a room. And we're all familiar with the terms that apply to pressure. One of the major terms is modes, okay? Modes do two things that we just don't want. They exaggerate, give us too much energy at that frequency, or attenuate, not enough. Do we hear too much or we don't hear anything? With modes, there's not much in the middle. It's an extreme situation, kind of like the politics of today. You're gonna to get too much or you're not gonna get enough at all, okay? So exaggeration and attenuation is the product and facility of pressure, all right? So we wanna keep that in mind. Reflections, on the other hand, completely different. Reflections, of course, are what? Mids and highs, right? That's what we want to focus on. All right, so reverb. We all know what reverb is. It's a summation of reflections, not echo. It's not a repeating signal. A lot of people think it's echo, but the signal's not repeating. The distortion's not repeating. It's just filling the room with reflections. So it's a summation of reflections. Speaker boundary interference effect. When you put your speaker too close to a wall, Okay, we see this all the time. You're going to get more wall sound than you are speaker sound. Comb filter, same situation. You're going to get a series of reflections that are going to be at the same amplitude, so it looks like a teeth of a comb on a graph. Flutter echo, that's another problem. Now, that actually is echo, but it's echo between two objects, if you will. And then, of course, all this, all of these distortions here, have an impact on speech intelligibility, which is defined as how many words we can hear in a sentence. So all of these middle and high distortions, reverb, speaker boundary interference effect, comb filter, flutter echo, all have a negative impact on speech intelligibility. They also have a, a negative impact on music intelligibility, okay? So speech, voice, and music, the two most important variables that we work on. So pressure, those big peaks, right? There's the camel hump, that we, and then it drops really below down here to 70. So you get two peaks, you get two exaggerations, right? And we don't want any of that. That's the camel hump that we refer to. Usually 40, 50, 60 uh, hertz, right in that range. And then they drop below base, and then you get attenuation, where you don't hear anything at that frequency range, right? So these are the two main areas I want you to focus on. You take all the videos we did over the last, I don't know, 12, 13, 14 years, and you summarize them. I think you could place most of them into these two categories. So from now on, we're going to refer to pressure and reflections as our two paradigms when we're looking at room acoustics and the treatment that goes with these two issues, because they're completely different. So our next video is going to focus on the treatment types for these kind of issues. Hope this helps. Thank you. Hi everyone, Dennis again. I want to walk you through the room form process. So go to the home page and click on the room analysis tab. Once you get to the room analysis tab, then it's going to ask you for information. So left side, start my room analysis, orange button. Click on that. And once we get to that, it's going to ask you just six or eight things, dimensions, structure, composition, things like that. Fill out that. 
Now, here's the most important thing about that part. You can include up to six pictures. So stand in the middle of the room, take pictures of each wall, and take a picture of the floor and the ceiling and attach it to this form, okay? Once you do that, you'll be prompted to schedule an appointment in our electronic calendar. Go ahead and do that. The calendar automatically adjusts for your time zone. Please call on the scheduled time. We do not call these numbers. So we're very, very busy. We want to make sure that everybody gets taken care of. So it's your obligation to call at the scheduled time. And then we'll discuss your room and I'll give you three different room resolutions to consider. Alrighty, hope this helps. Thank you.